Hey everyone, let's explore the Budapest defense a little bit, just in case some of us has to face it. So it starts uh, with the uh, Indian defense, uh, knight f6, and then if white goes c4, like usually, then e5. And this is um, quite a uh, forcing opening in, in a sense that black uh, pretty much has to take. There. If you play something like d5, then black can play bishop c5, and uh, it's uh, white can only hope for uh, equality. So taking on e5, and now black has two choices: knight g4 or knight e4. Uh, let's look at knight e4 first because that's a little bit smaller uh, database. Here, knight f3 a3 or knight d2 well knight f3 is most common this uh, is the main line here and uh, here black can play bishop b4 or knight c6 let's look at bishop b4 what are what are the advantages white can play for example knight d2 and now knight c6 here white plays a3, bishop takes on d2, and uh, knight takes on d2. So, this is quite drawish actually. Um, it's, it's not a very interesting position. b6, e3, uh, bishop b7. I don't see why anyone would have to have to study this uh, very much. So, um... Let's look what can happen if black plays knight g4, fighting over the uh, e5 pawn, and um, here knight f3 also, or bishop f4 are are the most common common moves. And bishop f4 scores better than knight f3, so. But let's look at knight f3 first, it's the most common, uh, most logical developing move. And here bishop c5 or knight c6 simply are very popular. So bishop c5, e3 and uh, here bishop e2 by, by white or knight c3, black does regain that pawn, and what is the end result? Black has knights on e5 and c6, and a bishop on c5, and uh, which is not perhaps ideally placed. And here, this is Nothing, nothing special. It's uh, quite good for white. So I don't know if that's the line to go with. From black's point of view, there are even better moves for white, like um, like this uh, bishop f4 we talked about. Here, knight c6, knight f3. Just holding on to that pawn. Bishop b4, check. Looks bad for white, but it really isn't. Knight c3 or knight d2, both possible. Um, this is safer. And then queen e7. The only good move here for black. And uh, white plays e3 or a3. E3 is much better, and black takes the e pawn. So there's actually there's no way that white can hold on to that that pawn really in this knight g4 variation. So, but white can still have a good game. He can exchange knights here and play 
Bishop e2, develop here, castles, castles, and uh, I would play this as white rather than black. I think if white manages to to clear the opening like this, uh, not falling to any any traps, then then he does well in this opening. So um, yeah. Let's let's see if there's anything else that's uh, notable that White should be um, aware of. Well, instead of Queen e7, you might see f6 from Black, but here White can just take and. Uh, develop, give the b-pawn, and keep developing, and it should be crushing because white is just ahead in development, so uh, he's gonna open lines, um, lines and diagonals and files and whatever, and it seems good for white. Okay, thanks for watching. I think this is enough from from this opening. No need to go to any uh, insane details, considering the uh, rarity of this opening. Take care. Bye. the hell